Mr. Speaker, this is very, very, very important matter in this country because if, if, we, if we can allow if we can allow man to ban the importation of news and used cars through land borders totally is out of democracy totally is out of democracy because it's the government of people by the people and for the people. Now, how many thousands of people that cannot afford to go to America, Japan, and Belgium, and other countries to buy, to, to, to buy a new cars to uh, import it through the port? Majority of our people, they go to Cotonou. They, they go to Cotonou and buy these cars. And in, they pay duty in Semeboda and the Katana and the others. So if you say you stop them, how many thousands of people will lose their job? So, Mr. Speaker, even as he said, there is art, we can amend the act to favor our people. We will not, if we allow this thing to continue, if we allow this thing to continue, we have nothing to go back and tell our people that elected us. We have to remember, always, I'm always telling us members, this year is four years, now two years remaining. We will go back and meet those people. If we never do good to them, we will see, see bad to us. So, Mr. Speaker, as far as my concern in this issue, we can even meet the president, and I'm sure the president will accept because he will not allow these people to be treated badly. I'm sure this issue, Mr. Speaker, we have to interfere in it. His, his, his point of order, what he said, any point of order or any act that will affect our people, we can amend it. We will not allow this thing to happen, Mr. Speaker.